It's fairly obvious that having good brake pads in your four-wheel drive is going to mean that the vehicle actually stops. <laughs> now, Terrain Tamer do two types of brake pads. One is ceramic and one is semi-metallic. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you the features and benefits of each of those pads and why they would be important to you. So let's talk about the ceramic brake pad. So these have a number of key features. One is they're nice and quiet when you apply the brake pedal. Now you might think, I don't really hear my brakes. And that's normally the case, of course, but a noisy pad can be heard, especially if you've got your window down. So it is a nice feature to know that you've got a brake pad that is nice and quiet. They also have a very low dust residue. You know, you've seen cars and they have all that black dust around the wheels. Well, these don't tend to do that nearly as much. They also have an excellent ability to tolerate different driving conditions and different temperatures, like you might be in an alpine area or in a hot desert or wherever, or going from hot to cold, like a, a hot road, and then you go through a river or something. These pads are going to tolerate that sort of temperature differential. Now, the ceramic pad does have a couple of disadvantages. One is it's expensive to manufacture, therefore they are more expensive to purchase. And the second thing is they don't dissipate heat as well as a semi-metallic pad does. And therefore, the way these work is the heat generated at the pad surface here when you do your brake application is primarily transferred into the brake disc. And that has to handle all of that heat dissipation. In the semi-metallic pads, that heat generation is also transferred into the pad backing material, therefore into the caliper, and it gives it a greater surface area to dissipate the heat that is generated when you apply the brakes. So the ceramic pad is nice and quiet, it doesn't generate too much dust, and it's also quite good at handling temperature differentials. It's a little bit more expensive, and it doesn't handle the heat dissipation quite as well. Now let's have a look at the semi-metallic pad. The semi-metallic pads do offer a very good braking solution, especially when it comes to different terrains and different types of temperatures and environments. They tolerate that very, very well. So whether it be mud, water, dust or whatever, these pads are going to be quite happy in that sort of environment, which is an excellent thing. But they do tend to be a bit more noisy and they do tend to generate a bit more dust. So if you don't like dirty wheels, these may not be the pads for you. They have very good heat dissipation abilities and that's primarily because of the metal that goes into the pad surface here. That metal helps transfer heat into the backing plate of the pad, therefore the heat dissipation cap capabilities are going to be greater. You're going to get a better braking effect from these. So if you're really looking for excellent braking solutions because your four wheel drive is heavy or you're towing heavy loads, the semi-metallic pads are slightly cheaper to manufacture and they are really going to give you the ultimate in braking performance. They do have one other downside and that is because of that excellent braking performance, they are a bit harder on your rotors. So you will have to replace rotors a little bit more often than if you were using the ceramic pads. Now I'd like to show you just a couple of other things that you may not know about brake pads and this will ap apply to pretty much all the brake pads that you find out there in the marketplace. See these little tangs here? These are designed in the brake pad as a wear indicator. So when your brake pad wears down, these contact the brake rotor and they will start to make a very loud and annoying noise. And that will make you inclined to go and get the mechanic to sort it out for you. But here's the beauty of it. They are adjusted to a point where the brake pads won't actually be completely worn out. So you still have braking performance while you go and get your pads serviced. So that's a very good feature. The other feature is you'll notice this chamfer area on the leading and tailing face of the pad. The reason that's there is to predominantly control chatter. That is where the brake pad wants to shake in the under braking application because of the sharp edge that would be there if you didn't have that chamfer. Anyway guys, I hope that's helped you out and helped you understand the right brake pad solution for your four wheel drive. I'm Mad Matt, stay safe on the trails. Terrain Tamer have a 50 year old promise to deliver quality engineered four wheel drive parts. 